Hello YouTube, just going to do a quick update, show some stuff I picked up over the last couple of weeks and not a lot but I just want to get them out of the way and I'll start off with the non horror I picked this up cheap in my local GameStop usual 2 euro deals um, haven't seen this uh, as far as I know it's part 1 of a trilogy but I do like Lee Van Cleef um, he was brilliant in the Clint Eastwood um, spaghetti westerns and um, this is supposed to be good another one unknown haven't seen this um, big fan of Liam Neeson great Irish actor uh, he was brilliant in Taken I've heard mixed reviews about this so it's going to be interesting to see what it's like and uh, Taken um, been buying a lot of manga lately. I haven't gotten around to watching any of it, but um, this is supposed to be good. It's only about an hour long. Um, cost me two two quid inside um, GameStop as well. And I got home and I checked Amazon UK, and one seller was selling it for like thirty thirty pounds, and another seller was selling it for seventy pounds. So I was like fucking really shocked and happy, obviously. But um, yeah, hopefully it's good. Shogun Assassin. Um, I've been buying a lot, well not a lot, but some Vipco recently. Just trying to finish off the collection. Um, when I first started collecting DVDs, I did obviously get a lot of Vipco stuff because back then, you know, it was hard to get stuff imported, and that was our only choice. But um, Shogun Assassin classic. This is actually on cut. I know a lot of Vipco releases are cut, but this is one of the ones that isn't. Um, already had this in a different cover when Kill Bill Part Two came out, and this is released as a HMV exclusive. Obviously, ripping off the fucking the Kill Bill cover, and there it says the Sleepy Time film from Kill Bill Two. Obviously, trying to make money after all kill bill thing but I'm um, especially the exact same exact same DVD just different cover but I do prefer this cover it's a classic art and it cost me two quid so I'm very happy with that um, I haven't heard of this one before bad guy some sort of a Yakuza thriller type film but it sounds sounds okay Two euros up, and this H6 Diary of a Serial Killer. Uh, it's a Spanish serial killer film. It's supposed to be very slow, bit of a slow burner, but it's supposed to be um, it's supposed to be good, good enough. Hopefully it is. Um, I was gonna wait and wait for this to go down in price, but. There's no sign of it going down in price, so I just ended up buying it for full whack, which is like fucking, I don't know, 20 euro or something. Um, I saw it when it first came out and I really enjoyed it. Um, I know a lot of people hated it, but I picked up the original thing for Christmas on Blu ray and I didn't get around to watching it. I said I was going to wait until this came out in Blu-ray and I was going to watch both of them back to back because it is a prequel so I sat down uh, last week and I watched this then I watched the original and it made this a lot better because there's stuff that happens in this that kind of leads up to the original like a bit where a hatchet gets stuck in a wall and all other kinds of random things that if you kind of forgot that they happened in the original, they wouldn't mean much. But then you kind of watch the original afterwards and you're kind of like, oh yeah, that happened in the fucking prequel. So it made a lot more sense to watch the, the original straight away afterwards. And um, it was basically watching one big fucking four hour long film. So um, I would recommend watch it like that. But anyway, really good release. Um, I haven't watched any special features and shit in it, but obviously. Picture is fucking excellent. Um, 
been on kind of a trauma buzz lately. I picked this up on Amazon, really cheap. It's the Trauma Dance Film Festival Volume 1. And uh, it came out back in 2000, 2001. It's basically a couple of short films that were sent into trauma. I've watched a couple of them so far. Um, that HR puking shit. That was fucking hilarious. And there's another one then. Please kill Mr. Kinski. Um, there are two great shorts. There's another short in it. Stars Mick Foley, the wrestler. I haven't watched that yet. But I I got this for like two fifty or three three pounds or something on Amazon. So nice and cheap. And a newer release from Trauma Psycho Sleepover. And um, not their best, but parts of it were just fucking hilarious. I mean, I was pissing myself laughing. Just really fucking stupidly funny, you know. But um, definitely, definitely worth a watch if you're into craptastic stuff. And I picked this up for a penny on Amazon Rampage. And I saw it when it first came out, and I loved it. Really, really fucking crazy film. Very surprising from U Ball. Um, but uh, yeah, great film. Uh, this was recommended me, recommended to me by uh, Mike, aka Eddie Von Oakridge. I think he's gone from YouTube again. But um, this fucking yeah, it's a slow burner, but there's some really gross fucking parts in it. Like this guy, he's this couple. They move into a fucking little cul-de-sac, and there's a neighbor there, and he's fucking crazy, and he's poisoning everyone's food, and he has these little slits that he cuts in his own stomach and he kind of fuck oh, there's a scene there where he's like fingering the hole in his stomach and he's like jabbing a big fucking needle into his balls at the same time while he's wanking off or fucking it's just fucking gross. But um yeah, the ending of it, um there's a lot of great gore, so I definitely recommend it. And I got it I got it cheap as well. Um, another film that I got cheap. Um, I've heard so many bad things about this film. I just had to get it. <laughs> um, it's supposed to be. Everyone says it's one of the worst films ever made. So I'm gonna check it out to see how bad it actually is. <laughs> um, I got this. Ghoul School. I got this for a penny on Amazon as well. Um, Camp Motion Pictures have a fancy. Um, release of it out, but that's like four or five, five euro or five pounds. So I got this for a penny. So I said I'd just get this, and I've watched about half an hour of it so far, and good cheesy fun. Mm, might get the cat motion release in the future if it goes down a bit, but that'll do me for the time being. And speaking of cat motion pictures, I got this Bladder Beach. Two disc special edition comes with the soundtrack as well. Um, really, really fucking stupid but enjoyable. Good cheesy fun. And more from Cat Motion, the Zombie Bloodbath trilogy. Haven't watched this yet, but it's supposed to be really good. Um, shot on video horror. I'm really getting into the shot on video horror lately. Trying to check out as much of it as I can. I'm looking forward to checking these out. Uh, and more from Cam Motion Pictures. I got the basement collection with the VHS big box. I know a lot of people complain about it saying it's not an actual big box, it's a different type of size but I don't care. It looks cool, it'll look nice on the shelf. But um, I've watched most of these so far. All of them except for Captives. Um, video Violence was great. Video Violence 2 was a bit stupid but it was enjoyable enough. Cannibal Campout was good enough as well. And The Basement itself was enjoyable. That was a good set. Um, I had it on my Amazon wish list since it was released and I kind of forgot about it and then Tat, uh, the Tattoo Doorman picked it up so uh, that reminded me of it and I went back on and it was gone down a lot in price so I had to order it 
and another VHS that I picked up. I'm getting all these VHSs and my fucking VHS player doesn't even work. I need to get it fixed. And the sleeper. Um, I watched this and I fucking love this. Really, really great throwback to 80s slashers. Um, for into films like Halloween, or any of uh, the kind of on campus slashers that came out in the 80s, like, um, oh fuck, I can't think of any. Um, House and Sorority Row and fucking. Shit, my mind has gone blank. But anyway. Really great from from um, what's his name? Justin Russell. He directed um, Dead Star Holocaust as well. Another film I enjoyed. I didn't love it, but it was good. But it was a lot better. Um, I'm getting close to the end. Philosophy of Knife, two disc. Um, got it for less than a tenner, which was nice on Amazon. Um, I've watched the first half of it so far. Fairly fucked up. Um, but a good film. It is boring in yeah, parts. You kind of need to be wide awake to watch it and get the gist of it. But um, I enjoyed it. Necromantic 2. Got this off Diabolic. Um, it wasn't cheap. It was like 30 fucking 30 bucks. But um, I have Necromantic 1, so I needed it, and it's the same special European edition type release, so it'll look nice together. And finally, um, I ordered this from Diabolic, but it was sent out to me from Massacre, unless they just left it in the same package that they got it in and posted it to me. But anyway, I'm not fucking complaining, like, it came to me, that's all that matters, and it came in less than a week. So, I was going to be in Bama. Um, it's supposed to be really sick. Looking forward to seeing it. Um, yeah. So that's it for me. Thanks for watching.